Nothing. Nothing at all. I I got sucked into one of those um, subscription box things on the internet. I saw it on Facebook, and Facebook is evil. They know when you click on something because then they advertise it over and over and over until you finally buy it. And I did. Um, this one's called Try the World. You might have noticed I'm a little crazy about food, and this is this is like a foodie's dream. The best gift you could buy a foodie is a subscription box called Try the World. So, try the World. Try the World. So they said that they will give you full-size products. I think they said seven products with a with a tour guide that tells you a little bit about that country and it gives you some music and like a CD or yeah, like a CD of music. Oh. Um, and because I was a new member, I got to try the box from the month before and then the current box. So it's a bonus. It's a bonus box. Uh, one of these boxes is Paris and the other one's Japan and we don't know which one is which. This one is Paris. You don't know that, do you? Yeah. No, I don't. Um, we don't know which one's which. Both looked good online. This one is from Paris. Well, maybe. Like that I no, don't know. No. So I ordered these boxes. I signed up They're on... They're both from Tennessee. I signed up on um, Friday night, and then they shipped it out the very next Thursday, and it showed up. We're opening one. Oh, well, I opened this one. <laughs> uh, it showed up on Thursday, and then it was delivered on Friday, so pretty darn quick. No, it was delivered on Monday. I was very sad. I had to wait all weekend, but oh, the box is weirdly packaged. But I thought we would open it for you to see. I'm just going to tear into this. It's Christmas. Like an excited child. It probably it looks like it has a oh. fancy box. It seems oh, like and I busted the box. So the cardboard box has inside this out, yeah. gorgeous paper inside. Well, we know on this one not to, not to tear up this box. Because <laughs> how pretty would this be? Let me go closer so you can see it. It's this little... It's little, whatever you call those things. Balloons? Balloons. Hot air balloons? I'm blocking the lights. The so you can't logo see it, is but... a Try the World, which is a hot air, hot air balloon. Like that. Everyone says these are great boxes, and it is very pretty. It's kind of like a Tiffany good looking, blue. Good looking box. Look at the inside of it, it's got stripes. So they're really into details. This is our little culture tour guide. We are opening Japan! Japan, okay. How many countries are there? I don't know, but they ship a box every other month. I thought it was going to be every month, it's every other month. Hmm. But you pay by the box, so I feel like whenever you ship it, I'll take it. But So we got Japan, and it says, Welcome to Japan, the ultimate melting pot between tradition and mo modernity. Tokyo is an incredibly influent... is incredibly modernity. influenced... Modernity? modernity? Modern itty. Modern itty. We're not gonna get very far reading this. So anyway, there's an intro, there's a meet the chef, about your box from Japan, how to use your box. Lid. We'll open the lid. Host a traditional Japanese tea <laughs> ceremony. Um, enjoy the, a Japanese dinner date. And then about the traditions, hosting. Fun. Fun fact. How to host your tea ceremony, some pictures. Oh, there's a... Recipe? Okay, so they... I believe there's some tea in here. It's uh, matcha tea, and I'm not as much of a fan of matcha tea, but they gave a recipe for matcha shortbread cookies. In case you don't like the tea, turn it into a cookie. Then they gave... Um, cats on Mars. I think hmm. that's... I think that's the music. Gummy candies. Yeah, I'm excited to try the gummy Milk candies. Milk caramels. Like, look at look at this gorgeous recipe. <clears throat> so so it's got, got recipes for here. the stuff that's in it. Seaweed snack. Yeah, it's it's soba noodles. Soba noodles. So what is this? That's some kind of kit, and then blueberry matcha tea, and then ginger paste. So there's just. Different, different stuff. And then I got a um, Love Your Jap Japan box. Um, food is meant to be shared. Give a free box to three friends. 
little coupons on there. That's cute because I've already called my mom and told her she's got to sign up. So we got... Those are the uh, noodles. Is Soba the noodles? noodles. Soba noodles. So, Japanese. Soba noodles. Made with buckwheat. They're high in vitamin B. Incredibly versatile. They're made in central Japan. Delicious, uh, served in hot broth or as, or as cold salad. It looks like people are turning it into like a hash brown. Like look at those, look at those photos. It looks like hash browns. Um, it's got a little sticker on it saying there's recipes inside to tell you how to use this. It's a lot of not English. Yep. Yeah, a lot of not English. Peach gummy candies. Okay, we're trying these right now. These look delicious. Okay. And then these are the uh, the seaweed snack. Oh, yeah. For... Seaweed okay. snack. These are... Oh my goodness. Cigarettes. What? No, what are those? No, these are uh, milk caramels. But they look like a, like a cigarette box. So, so it's far, got the, like the card wrap, you know how you open that. So here's our box. So far, so far they're right. These are full size samples. Blueberry matcha tea, so that's a powder. We got the tea. That's a tiny little packet, but uh, let's see how much. I, I bet you I could make a ton of tea with this, but it says blueberry, which is interesting. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, yeah. What's what's this? That is. Oh, this is the noodles. The no uh, I thought that was the noodles. This is this is the Soba here. noodles. This is a piece of paper that you I think you roll sushi in. It's Ofuku Foods. No. Some kind of kit. No, that's this. Ginger paste. That's Ofuku Foods. The paste. Ginger. Ginger paste. That's frightening. Yeah. So I'm it's excited like because with the recipes and stuff I can try. Um, I'm not very adventuresome with making my recipes. I'm kind of excited that I can try um, new recipes from around the world. I feel like this will help me burst out of my bubble a little bit. I, um, I will buy food from anywhere and I will try anything, but I don't cook, cook a lot of crazy foods. Oh, these are really soft. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty gummy. They smell very peach. That's peach. Gluten free. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. It looked like every single box is going to have some sort of candy in it. At least one. Oh, these are caramels. Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah. Let's open the caramels. In the box. The candies are the fun ones. Tell me about the caramel. The caramel. Uh, the recipe for these traditional Japanese caramels dates back to 1899, uh, when Morigana was founded. We do not speak Japanese. Morinaga. Morinaga? <laughs> we do not know much about uh, Japan. Still today, these butterscotch-like sweets are a nostalgic reminder of childhood for those born in the 40s and 50s. 40s and 50s. So they're like a vintage. I did candy. not know Japan made caramels, because Japan... It seems like people, the foods there are like, have you ever bought dessert at a, at a Japanese restaurant? It's not very sweet. Yeah, they're pretty mild. You say caramel, that's, that's burnt sugar. Caramel is, look at this box. Where's the caramels? And my husband. It's got a little bit of English on the side. But that's the caramels upside down. We have a app from Google that will translate all this into English and I can't wait to try it. Look at these little cute cubes. I would tell you how many are in a box but you know I can't speak. I can't read Japanese. They look like bouillon cubes. They're definitely caramely. They're butterscotch. Really butterscotch. They're soft. And they're a little, they're not chewy, they're more fluffy. Yeah, they're more like butterscotch. They're like a in between butterscotch and caramel. They're not runny. No. They're not, they're not sticky like a normal caramel. And.
That's the kit. Do you dare to try the ginger paste? Not try. Do you know what ginger paste is? No. <laughs> you are in for a treat, my friend. I've had ginger candy. Have you? No. So you know what ginger tastes like? Yeah, it's weird. Cornstarch, ginger, spice extract. Ingredients don't sound good. They say ginger is really good for you. It's supposed to calm your tummy. It's oh. like toothpaste. Well, it's a squeeze bottle. You ready? You ready? It's gonna go on your finger. I feel like it's gonna destroy my caramel. Is your finger okay? Oh. <laughs> Welcome it to the burns. ginger world. It burns. Yeah, that's straight up ginger. Woo! It's hot. <laughs> it's real. It's definitely real. It's fun. I mean, it's... It's fun. <laughs> Look at you putting a... Sun I don't know in. if I'd go, you know, mm -hmm. squeeze a whole bunch out. Mm -hmm. But it might be good to, you know, put on a topping or something. For cooking? That's perfect. That's yeah. real. And if you need tasting. ginger, yeah. Okay, matcha tea. Matcha, but so it's green tea with oh, oh, oh look, it's a powder. Smell that. That smells good. It does smell good. I heard other Is people. Is it like a mix? Yeah. Okay, so it's not like a regular tea thing you gotta infuse. So here's the catch. Ingredients. Cane sugar is the first ingredient. Matcha matcha tea is the next ingredient. Tea powder. That may be matcha tea, matcha green tea powder because they wrap yeah. it around natural blueberry flavor. And I'm supposed to add eight ounces of hot or iced water, a tablespoon of the tea powder, stir it using a shaker or a blender or frother. Because it's so fine. It looks like Pez. It looks like Not sugar. Pez, um, There's no way you're going like to see that in there. Or something. It's like powder, like like you've had tea. Tea is tea is leafy. This is more like like um like sugar. I'm gonna try this. You know, I'm just gonna lick it. <laughs> is it good? It's um Is it tea? It's okay. Sugar? Sugary tea? This would be delicious if I made a sugar cookie and I like pressed it. My hands are dirty. Do you do you need I'll get a spoon? You do it once, you're not willing to do it twice. I mean, if the first ingredient is sugar, I feel like if I like, put that into the frosting of something, it'd be good. I think this would make a good good iced tea, too. It's interesting, it's like pulverized tea. I think that's all we can try because we've got this um, this bread thing, this noodle thing. Yeah, that's, that gonna, that's gonna have to be cooked. Gonna need to be put together. And then we've got a some sort of wrap thing, paper. Paper tree. You can't just eat the paper. Um, so that's yeah, what's in the maybe box. Maybe eat the paper, paper, I don't know. So exciting. So exciting. Anyway, thanks for watching. I didn't see any music. They yeah, said there's, there's music. Yeah, there's no music. Um, I mean, we, we can sing, I guess. Can you sing? I would like to hear your music. <laughs> I say go for it. No. No, I'm listening. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 there's the music. It's on the playlist. Oh, okay. So you go to their website, the website. and then you can, that makes sense. Instead mm -hmm. of sending a CD. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Very cool, guys. We like it. I like it. You like so it? So how would you rate this out of 10? I kind of think. If this was a gift, this would be like a 10.5. Pretty exciting. Very Pretty cool. exciting. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Lots of variety. I'd, mm -hmm. I'd say yeah, nine, nine and a half. He's not the foodie. <laughs> <laughs>